video of fishing adventures with CJ and yeah let me just get down from here I guess yeah so welcome back to another video of fishing adventures with CJ and yeah today we're gonna do what's inside my tackle box I have two tackle boxes but I could I can do my other one but this is not all of my lures my other lures on my rod but I'll do an update sooner or later. So you would see all of my lures sometime. And yeah, and plus I'm getting more lures all the time, like every week. So let's start off. Um, and yeah, if you can see that name Jet right there, I squiggled out. It used to be his old um, fishing rod. Um, this, uh, his old tackle box, but he gave it to me. So. He's behind the camera right now, so I might as well let him go. So oh, yeah, nice. huge shout out to him. So, let's get started. So, I got um, different sections for different types of lures. So I got my, I would go through them anyway. So yeah, I'll start off with my poppers. This one, right here, this popper. Um, yeah, the, oh, I am on in my popper section right now too. Um, and yeah, and this is my popper. I use it for Trevally and stuff like that. So that's my popper. And I have another one, but this one doesn't have hooks. It's I I, I give it to my brother sometimes and my. Cousins, we, we do might it like to practice casting. Yeah, and my five-year-old cousin, if he doesn't know how to cast lures, I just give him this, and he learns how to cast. So it's a good way to teach a child or teach a person how to fish without worrying they'll get hooked. Yeah. So yeah, I'll just show you this one one more time. But yeah, I do recommend if you're teaching someone how to fish with lures or poppers. Um, take the hooks out and you'll got you'll probably teach them how to fish without and them start, being worried and to hook. Start with a small one because if it's too big, it'll it, be yeah. a little too heavy. Yeah, so it's I, I recommend starting off with like a two inch uh, popper if, and take the hooks out. So that's my popper section done. Let's Let's move him down. <laughs> that was my that was my brother's belly grumbling. Let's move down to my wait a minute. Oh yeah. Um let's move down to my um crankbaits. I have more I I have like two more crankbaits on my fishing rods. I have three fishing rods. And yeah, I have two more crankbaits. And yeah. Just get it's I'm trying to get it off. I'll just actually ask my brother to get my other, when we go to the soft plastic section, I'll get my brother to, um, I'm going to just go now, I'm, I'm just going to get my brother now to get more ice soft plastics for the, when we get to the soft plastics, and yeah, it's in my bag at the front pocket, can you please get it please? Wait, where's your bag? In the study, so just told him where to go to get my bag. So, I'll start off with my first crankbait. It's this one right here. It's, I got, actually got this fun fact for my first birthday, well not first birthday, my fifth birthday I got this. Ouch, it just pricked me. And it's been prickling me. Yeah, I got this for my fifth birthday, so it's, I don't really use it much, because I don't like it getting snagged. I don't want to get snagged, and stuff like that. But this one I bought by my, I, this one I bought, it's a Strike Pro, it looks like a prawn lure, um, but yeah I use that a lot, I use this for whiting and stuff like that, so my brother just got this one, and yeah, uh, ouch, <laughs> um, and this is my, that's my crankbait section gone. So where should I go next? I'll go to my, well, soft plastics. I'll show you the brands first that I use and my brother. 
My brother has been lending him some of my soft plastics too. But like yeah, this, this one, I was experiment. I'll start off with this one actually, and I'll tell you the story why it's hooked up like that. I dropped it. You dropped it. <laughs> so this one, um, you might remember this one from my unboxing video, and I didn't know the name. It's Tsunami. The brand is su Tsunami. And yeah, it's a swim bait, scented swim baits, as you know. Go back to the previous video, and you'll see these unboxed and my rod. I also use these stonker lures. Um, they just like I love them. Stonker they what? Yeah, so stonker lures. Oh. Stonker lures. Lots of plastic. Soft. Thing. Yeah, soft plastics. They work like dynamite, as they say on the box. If so, you're in the right location. In the right location. Um. So I'll go to this one. Why it's hooked up like this? Um. This one was hooked up this like this. As you can see, usually it's one hook, but it's two hooks. I hook this up to just experiment on different ways to hook up this soft, soft plastics, swim baits, especially. And yeah, um, that one I usually, it's a small mullet, sometimes coaches mullet, but very rarely. And yeah, I use this a lot. Going to this one now. Um, I don't know what it's called, but soft plastic, it's a big hook. but. I went fishing once with my mum and we nearly caught a, a gar no garfish. Oh yeah, that's right. Garfish. It was a garfish. We nearly caught a garfish. A garfish with this. And then um, when we were fishing with our dad, we nearly caught, caught a, a mullet. mullet with this. So this one is the best lure I've ever seen. Let me just give you a peek of it just to see, um, so you can see if you want to catch garfish. It's right there. If you want to catch garfish, I highly recommend these type shaped lures now i use this one when i go to um it's very small when i go to america because you can't see it so Probably. small you can't see it it's right there um i i use this one when i go to america and use it on stuff um i forgot what the i i, I thought i uh, not australian broom uh, america i use this for bash sometimes at, in america and also, not very rarely, or pike, but I forgot the other word. I have the jig heads fish. for it though. Yeah, Jay has the jig heads. heads. Jay has the small jig heads for these. But yeah, I don't know what I'll catch with this, but he usually catches bass for me. Don't know why. Going to this um, soft plastic. Kind of, this one, this soft plastic, fun fact, another fun fact, um, is a jig head attached to a soft one of the one of the one of these soft plastics is tails the tails if i cut the tail off it cut three tails into it and that will act like a beaver tail but yeah i just i i'm just i'm mostly experimenting on my soft plastics and yeah let me put this back and those are my two brands of soft plastics i use some for most of the time tsunami and stonker boys but yeah, let me just put that back in there. Somehow. Moving on to my spinner baits. This spinner bait though is highly recommended for Australian bass. But it's always in knots and jigs and stuff like that. My brother always plays around with it. And ties knots in that. Never tie knots when you attach these. I keep on saying that to him, but he doesn't listen. But yeah, I got one of I'll get this spinner bait, two blades, very good, lots of vibration, and yet yeah, squid. It's like a squid, and two hooks together, and it has leader, and I just attach that to a swivel with this another swivel and another swivel, and that just got caught onto my jig. So I'm gonna go to next. So when you pack these type up, I find that they always get mixed up and stuff. So I just wrap them around this to clean them up a little so they don't get snagged. I brought this here again, as you can see. And yeah, I got my jig heads. I usually not use these jig heads. I think they're by the same Tsunami brand. And they're size four. 
to, and they have a round top. Um, I highly recommend these for the stonker lures. They just work awesomely. But yeah, got those. Now to my this is now I'm showing you. So all of that was my lures in plastic and plastics. And now I'm going to my bait. So when I catch catfish and sometimes Australian bass with worms. But yeah, uh, if you're wondering where I am, I'm at the far end of my property. Cause it's the most cleanest. Yeah, because that's why we have a big. We have a big property. Yeah, uh, we'll show we'll show it to you at the end. Yeah, we we'll, yeah, got that swivel on that, and I use it to attach my big heads. Oh my god, my brother's again with my homemade axe. Huh. Oh, and um, just before the video. Oh, and there's another thing that I need to get my brother, so I'll just ask him again. Near Mum's computer, yeah. can you get my bait catcher? The ba bait catcher. Mino. Oh, Mino. Mino trap. So he's just getting another stuff that I forgot to bring with me. And yeah, got some swivels right here. Got that. Got a small sinkers. And I got beads. Got on the duck beads. Highly recommend them for fishing for whiting at night. Works so good. So I'm gonna put those back in. My view, I'll just, just put that on my table, hold my table. <laughs> um now let me get all these different size hooks I got. And yeah. They're sharp. They're sharp. Oh no, I just dropped them. I'll find it. Found it. So if you do drop I re if you do drop some, just pick it up, guys. We don't want to have. Issues. We don't want to get issues with hooks in your foot. Definitely. So I have, I have different size hooks, red, circle hooks, and stuff like that. Nothing to talk about them really. You can get any hooks for any fish you want, pretty much. And yes, um, let me go into my rig, my rigs. I have several different rigs, but this one's I'm showing my fresh water. One, some salt water species, but yeah, I use this rig. Don't know why. Hook, um, sinker. sinker. Yeah, that can go up and down. I'm forgetting all my names. So nervous. And yeah, it's a, a, it's a sinker that can go up and down, up and down. And those the, uh, the sinkers I just showed you too. And it has a swivel on there just to make it cool. Um, that's it for this tackle box, but now, oh my god, my dad brother just bored. So that's it for my tackle box, I'm going to put that aside. And yes, um, so now I'm going to show you my homemade minnow trap, and I'll just, I haven't tested it out, so I'll do another video later on in the year of how to make one of these, but yeah, at the moment I don't know if it works, so I don't want to make a video yet, and it, people will just not have no idea how to make it you know if it works but I'm just uh yep yeah, and stay tuned still because I'm still making this but yeah I got my minnow trap here I'll just give you a quick brief how to make it um cut a bottle in half and then cut another bottle a quarter so it's a quarter of a bottle stick them in staple them together leave take the lid off the one inside um, put the lid on the one in here uh, on the outside tie um, string whatever fishing line leader whatever you want to the bottle cap right there and oh my god my brother's just hanged up my, the axe on top of my basketball ring <laughs> but yeah and that you just put you open then when you want to catch it and throw it in you want to put bread in here make sure it goes to the sides not go through fall through the middle and you would you would want to i just lost oh there's my lid <laughs> <laughs> and you want to tie the lid up fill it up with water get the end of your line or string throw it and, and make then, sure it doesn't hit anything yeah make sure it doesn't hit anything Oh my god, it just turned into... Guys, 
It just turned into a not my leader. So it's it's actually string, but whatever. And yeah, that's my Lino trap. That's my video. And oh, and um, Jet's gonna do an unboxing in the what's next in, video. What's, what's in, in his nice tackle, tackle box? box. And tackle box. Uh, in a tackle box. And yep. Yeah. My table just um just nearly fall. And if you, I'm just telling you guys, if you're always wondering what camera I'm using, I'm always using my Samsung. phone, Samsung Galaxy S7. Yeah. Uh, no, S6. No, S. I don't know. It's a Galaxy Samsung, and with a tripod. And then I just make. Yeah, it's a big tripod sometimes. But I'm, I'm at the moment. I'm leaning on another chair. So, thanks for watching. As I always say, stay safe on the water. CJ Sunny now. See you in the next video. Stay tuned for my what's inside. Yes. And stay safe on the water. Bye.